not too bad this time when i think hi sitishman welcome back yep sure thank you so you can um, kick it off and then i'll take it uh, uh, from okay i think you can go to the steering committee okay so i'll um, do a very quick recap of what transpired and then we'll have a, a word of thanks so we had um, a packed conference comprising of eight sessions or four days all virtual mode for the first time uh, conference is inaugurated on on wednesday november 3rd by professor alex bible uh, from the carnegie mellon university and the conference ran six tracks and it is something um, um and it had, it had something for every person on the cloud computing ecosystem and, and this is something that is unique with the ccem that you don't see in other conferences so we had a, a long and short paper track for researchers we had a poc track for um, undergrad students we had a tech based track for entrepreneurs seeking to create a business model around uh, cloud and ai we had a phd symposium to help those who are pursuing their uh, doctoral um this is and for the for the general cloud computing enthusiasts and specialists alike we had eight um, a keynote talks by renowned global experts and six scholarly tutorials from experts around, across four continents and it is not easy to manage a conference with six tracks that to in a virtual fashion this calls for intricate planning and uh, elaborate preparation so gopal and i want to spend a few minutes to thank the uh, the spirited and innovative team uh, behind the ccem who have spent hundreds of their uh, personal hundreds of hours of their personal time uh, for giving back to the community so i'll start with thanking the steering committee um and um, just one second i'll i'll bring it up krishna yeah uh, i was just trying to make sure i was visible here um okay um and i guess the big message is uh, like krishnan just said we did it and this is an amazing and uh, on top of that as a virtual event right with air meet and uh, with all the uh, in, uh, teething problems of uh, getting into something new i think we really made it happen and uh, with great quality so give me one second as i bring this up so first i am honored to have the opportunity to thank the steering committee and uh, most of them um, have been responsible for initiating this conference back in 2012 and then nurturing it across uh, the last 9 years uh, dr gopal pingali my co-host for this session has been passionate about the cause of cloud computing especially its application to emerging uh, markets and touching ordinary lives ever since i met him uh, a decade ago and he is the brain behind um several of the tracks that you see in the conference today dr ts mohan ceo of uh, pragyan labs has captained most of the initiatives linked to the ccem and he's been the um, ms dhoni of this conference over the years since dhoni uh, for the people who are um, outside of india has been the most successful captain of the indian cricket team of the years and you all know mohan as the uh, energetic and articulate voice uh, uh, behind this conference um professor rajkumar buya uh, from the university of melbourne is a world renowned researcher he is globally acclaimed for contributions to cloud computing uh, and dr buya brings his wealth of knowledge and, and global acceptance to the uh, ccem steering committee professor janaki raman from iit madras has been a guiding voice uh, for the ccem over the years and he has also been a uh, a liaison between the ccem and the uh, academia uh, dr rong chang from ibm research has been a friend of the ccem uh, for many years and dr chang is the chair of the uh, ieee technical committee on services computing and he has been our uh, liaison with the larger ieee family and uh, and the publications world uh, back to you gopal yeah thanks krishnan and um, my pleasure to thank the general chairs and the technical program committee chairs this uh, conference the, the biggest satisfaction has been a tremendous set of people leaders who have um, uh, passionately adopted this conference and led it over the last few years and uh, this year has been very special so my co-host uh, krishnan uh, has been the general chair of this conference and uh, uh, tremendous leader uh, and uh, you have seen this uh, in action throughout this conference 
and um, uh, he is a distinguished engineer at IBM and uh, CTO of the Cloud Center of Excellence. He brings that breadth and depth of customer insights and research insights uh, to the table. Raj Tumuluri, um, very passionate uh, CEO of OpenStream based in New Jersey, comes uh, even to pre-conference workshops uh, to India to attend this in person. And he was uh, the brain behind getting outstanding sessions, uh, for example, from Professor Alex Weibel and uh, Louis uh, Philip Mohans, and um, uh, Professor Sanjay Chitnis, Dayan Sagar University, uh, uh, head of computer science and dean. Uh, again, tremendous leader has been uh, driving this conference. And um, this conference is not possible without uh, the whole technical program. And uh, Professor Radhakrishna from NIT Warangal and Dr. K.V. Subramaniam from PES University uh, in Bangalore have um, really driven this. So huge uh, thanks to them. You heard them at the beginning of the conference. They actually kicked this off. It's our privilege to uh, bring this uh, last uh, uh, thanks, um, word of thanks uh, to them. Over to you, Krishnan. Yeah, sure. So um, next we uh, have an opportunity to thank the uh, students POC track chairs. So the conference is fortunate to have um, Sridhar Chitraju and, and Dr. Subramanya Sharma and Professor Sudarshan um, as the student POC chairs. We thank them for their intense efforts. Um, Reader has been much more than the student QC chair for the for the CCEM, and his role has been multifaceted, and the CCEM is uh, indebted to him. The Technobiz track. Um, let me thank the co-chairs, Professor Shekhar Babu from um, Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetam University, and uh, Arun Raj Gopalaswamy from IBM. As you can see, this is not a classical conference track, the, the, the Technobiz, and as you can imagine, it's not easy to drive it to success. Uh, so Dr. Shekhar and, and Arun did a brilliant job, as you could see yesterday. So there was also work behind the scenes. So for example, as there was a semi-final run um, 10 days back where the 15 entries were down selected to six. So thanks to both of them for a job well done. Uh, tutorials, I want to thank uh, Ram Babu, Parvatina from um, IBM Singapore and, and, and Ruhashka from uh, Google Cloud Australia. They have been associated with the conference for many years, perhaps four or five years now, and they have, um, uh, uh, you know, guided this tutorial track, which is which is one of the most sought after segments of this of this conference. So uh, the conference is indebted to their services. Um, also thank the uh, academic uh, liaison chairs, uh, Dr. Petru Raj and uh, Sudhakar Nagaraja, and the publication chair, Dr. Rajat Vasudeva Muthi from uh, the BMS College of Engineering, Bangalore. Thank you all for your passion and um, drive here, spirit of drive. Thank you. Thanks, Krishnan. And um, a big thanks uh, to the people here. Uh, first of all, to uh, finance chair Vijayanti Desai, I always uh, find it hard to just call her a finance chair. She certainly handles the finances and uh, is the backbone in, from that uh, respect. And she has handled so much of the uncertainty as uh, we had to switch to a virtual event. Uh, but she's really the backbone of the conference in every way because she uh, coordinates every aspect of it and um, just has spent uh, unbelievable amount of time. So uh, huge thanks to Vaijayanti. And I think we should uh, all do some real and virtual clapping for Vaijayanti. And um, uh, working hand in hand uh, uh, with her has been the program management committee. And uh, especially Vijay Lakshmi, uh, Govindraj, and Tamarai, uh, Mail Sami, both of them have uh, put in tremendous amount of work uh, behind the scenes and in terms of coordinating registration <laughs> invitations, um, huge work and uh, thank you uh, very much uh, to them. And um, you all have seen um, Sesikant, uh, uh, Sesikant Prabha in action um, uh, throughout every session, uh, starting and uh, concluding every session as the conference digital chair. And also behind there was also uh, doing media and creative design were Madhumita and uh, Vital uh, Kulkarni. So thanks to, huge thanks to all of them. 
and um, um, I uh, will also briefly mention that um, IEEE is the organization uh, uh, we we are all volunteers in IEEE, and there's also people who work for IEEE uh, that have been uh, always associated with this conference, and I uh, like to call them out: Sri Chandra, uh, Bindu Madhava for from CDAC, Sri Chandra from IEEE. Kathy Grice has been over the years uh, very helpful and uh, uh, helped in kicking off this conference. And we have Pramod and Yati Tarikere um, helping uh, us. And also special thanks to Munir Muhammad and Harish Mysore, from, uh, who's the director of IEEE India. Um, and um, uh, over to you, Krishnan, to talk about the TPC. Okay, so um, the, the, the technical program committee is pivotal for the success of any conference uh, because of the sheer magnitude of work involved. Um, so like uh, uh, Professor KVS mentioned during the inaugural session, this conference saw 70 papers and at three reviews a paper, we are talking about more than 200 reviews. Um, and so uh, we need a erudite um, uh, program committee that is also uh, renowned and well accepted worldwide. So as you can see in this chart, we have um, uh, professors and captains of the industry across many countries, many continents. So um, uh, we are extremely indebted to this uh, this committee for their for their work. Um, so, so thanks, thanks a lot. So yeah, uh, thanks Krishnan. And you all can see that how much work goes into making a conference happen and how many people have been involved in this to really make such a high quality, successful conference. And um, I should not forget our sponsors and patrons. Uh, we mentioned IEEE and uh, particularly the IEEE Technical Committee on Services Computing, uh, computing as part of the IEEE Computer Society is the main sponsor of this conference uh, and uh, we really recognize that and uh, Rong Chang as its chair and um, we have the uh, also IBM OpenStream and Red Hat which is uh, kind of associated with IBM now uh, uh, but even independently it's been a sponsor and patron and we really recognize that IBM has really from the beginning been the company that um, um, co created this conference and put in tremendous um, effort. Um, and um, you can see from the many leaders who have participated here. And uh, we really uh, have to uh, acknowledge and uh, really recognize the leadership role IBM has played. And OpenStream uh, has been uh, with uh, Raj Timluri as its CEO, had uh, tremendous uh, influence on this conference in terms of the direction, in terms of uh, bringing awards and um, and uh, recognition and participation so thank you very much uh, to openstream as well and uh, red hat i would associate at this point with ibm and um, and brings that whole open source aspect uh, to this conference um, and along with that the ieee i already mentioned the particularly the ieee standards association um, with that um, i want to briefly mention that uh, we have this uh, in IC, IEEE CCM 2020, we also uh, kicked off uh, the CCM SDG initiative. And this is a vision for where we should go in the next 10 years. And um, we really want to become the world's premier conference in cloud AI, big data, and IoT technologies, fundamental advances, and their applications uh, in terms of their applicability to sustainable development goals. So there will be a lot of work uh, and uh, activity along the CCM SDG initiative now. And um, so you should all uh, participate and uh, sign up for this. If you haven't already, there will be challenges in terms of new things you can do, lots of mentoring, new projects, internship opportunities, uh, mentoring for techno biz plans, and even investment opportunities all through an open innovation platform. So this is something we'll drive very actively going forward. So. Uh, this is, you can see in the conference homepage, if you just go to, to uh, 2020 ccm.org, the conference homepage, there is this link. You can go there and sign up uh, to join this initiative. I'll also post the link in the chat window in a few seconds, but uh, you can look at it there as well. Um, so uh, it's a lot of action going forward. 
And um, before we get into the awards, one more thing, uh, important thing we want to announce is um, that uh, now that we are concluding the 2020 conference, we really need to think about 2021. And um, so announcing CCEM 2021 and uh, uh, key dates for this, uh, we'll have, uh, we have this great tradition of having a pre-conference workshop this will now be on February 27, 2021. And uh, the submissions for this will be due on February 1st. For all of you, these uh, as, uh, the entry uh, this will be clear, but this is a purely mentoring conference workshop for all tracks, including research papers, including uh, student projects and technical uh, techno business uh, showcase. You, you can submit your ideas. We'll, we'll accept them if you submit an idea and we'll give you mentoring on how to actually uh, develop that idea and make it ready for the main conference so that it's an outstanding submission that you get for the main conference, which will be from October 27th to 30 uh, next year. We'll decide if it's uh, virtual or hybrid or, or person, to person, more, uh, person to person. It's more likely going to be a hybrid event, but we'll keep you posted on that. But those are the dates. And the papers, the submissions will be due three months before the conference on July 26th. And uh, with the CCM SDG initiative that we just announced, we'll have monthly meetups on that and a lot of work uh, along all those things I mentioned, along challenges, internships, projects, mentoring, et cetera, uh, that we'll start doing. And this starts this month itself. And so we have a couple this year and there'll be one more in January before we head into the pre-conference workshop. So a lot of action that's going to happen and you're all welcome to join. And these are not limited to uh, the folks who attended this conference. You can invite other friends as well to join the initiative. Um, with that, we come to the very interesting uh, final suspense kind of uh, part of this conference, which are the awards. And uh, first, uh, we'll uh, go to the Outstanding Service Awards. And um, uh, for that, um, uh, let me kick that off. And then, Krishna, I'll give it over to you uh, for the uh, next set of awards. So we, this time, we thought we'll introduce Outstanding Service Awards uh, because a lot of people have been working in the conference. And we wanted to call out at least one or two people uh, for being truly outstanding and being a uh, uh, lot of uh, work uh, behind the scenes that made this conference possible. And um, first, I'd like to call out Vijay Lakshmi uh, from IBM. We included her in the thanks earlier, but uh, truly outstanding support functions. So we recognize her uh, 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 great contributions and uh, big applause to uh, Vijay Lakshmi. Uh, for all the work she's been doing, handling all the registrations, all the coordination, and making such a successful conference happen. Big thanks to you, Vijay Lakshmi. And um, the other outstanding service award, one more award, goes to none other than Sesikant, uh, our digital chair. Again, we, we couldn't really have run this virtual event we couldn't have had the website. We couldn't have had so many things if he had not very fastidiously been at it all the time, despite power outages, whatever was happening, he was uh, coming at it day and night and making this happen for us. So big thanks to you, Sesikant, And congratulations to Vijay Lakshmi and Sesikant on these awards. With that, um, uh, Krishnan, I will give it to you to announce the next uh, a few awards. Sure. And we'll start with the student project showcase. I will do the uh, flipping of the charts whenever you ask me to. Sure. Thanks, uh, Gopal. So we, we enjoy the student POC track, um, not only because this takes us back to our student days, but also because uh, we get to interact with uh, young people. So this year, out of the 15 submissions, we had six nominations. And the winners are Kopal. <laughs> so first, the this is the second prize. The second, the second award, the second prize goes to Aditya Huja and Mukda Patnaik from PES University, Bangalore.
for the proposal titled Extended YCSB JSON for OLAP Benchmarking Couch Base Analysis. Big applause. Okay. And the first prize goes to Iljima san and Kushida san from the School of Computer Science, Tokyo University of Technology, Tokyo, Japan, for their proposal unified request ID assignment on microservices. Please keep going. Okay, so then we go to the uh, the next category. So many of us in the, um, the leadership team here, um, we have a we want the research community to bring the business dimension to technology and many of us are extremely passionate about this um, like the students poc track we have 15 submissions for the techno base track as well uh, six were down selected so there are six nominations again and the winner is okay uh parini mustan rao and sai vinita goli from amrita vishwa vidya Pitam, bangalore ai based assistance to shrimp farmers is is their business proposal so three cheers to them and uh, give them a big hand this is the second prize this is the second <laughs> and the pole position belongs to abhishek pandey matthew ranjan vaidyanathan uh, for their proposal titled personal air quality systems uh, proposal titled leveraging technology for precision advisories and enhanced outcomes for problem of air pollution give them a big hand congratulations team great achievement back to you Gopal. okay okay uh, and um, yes we'll go on to the next awards uh, but i should also uh, while we are doing this uh, acknowledge that there has been a, a fantastic jury behind this um, uh, some of the leaders from this uh, conference and um, for each of these categories we had a jury and they were working behind the scenes listening to all the presentations uh, and uh, evaluating in detail to come up with this and this was a uh, each award had at least uh, three jury members and it was a consensus among them which led to the selection of these awards so now we go to the short research paper awards and um, uh, this time, actually, we had a tie. So we gave two uh, awards. There's no first or second prize. Both of them share the award. Uh, and I'll, uh, in no particular order, I'll call out one of them first. And um, this is Priyanka Gayam, Gayam of VMware and Sai Manohar Inabatini of Nutanix for their paper titled Workload Volatility Management in Data Centers and Cloud. We really enjoyed. Uh, many of you have heard this presentation. Fantastic work and big congratulations to Priyanka and Simon Oher. And uh, so the other uh, short research paper, uh, best paper award goes to Pranav Gupta of DPS International Schools, high school student from Saket, New Delhi, along with the co-author Manish Gupta from IBM India Private Limited for their work. Very, very relevant today, managing congregations of people by predicting likelihood of a person being infected by a contagious disease like the COVID virus. So um, very relevant award, a very relevant work and uh, great to see this presented at uh, CCM. So hearty congratulations to uh, Pranav and Manish. So, I, so Krishnan, why don't you announce the uh, final award here? <laughs> okay, thank you for, for that honor. So the, we finally come to the uh, full research paper award, right? This is the, the, the coveted award. It's, uh, yeah, so it's the, only a singular actually, there's only one award. One <laughs> award. So for the ninth edition of the Cloud Computing and Emerging Markets Conference, the uh, the full research paper award goes to Srinivas Rao Kundeti, Sumit Sharma, Jeevan from Philips Research, Philips Healthcare Bangalore, and Mohammed Afzal Ansari from Triple IT Allahabad, and Ahmad Sanin.
from the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, for the paper titled Sub-Object Data Augmentation and Custom Loss Functions for Automated Anatomical Landmarks Localization in 3D Brain MR Images. Big applause. Thank you. It's a huge, uh, this is very was, prestigious, folks. Uh, it's uh, because you know how selective this conference is, especially for the full research papers. Among um, many uh, dozens of papers that were submitted, we only had four papers that were actually presented in the conference. You can see how selective that is already. So being a full research paper presentation in CCEM is already ex uh, very prestigious. And application of AI to healthcare and public good. So, and and its relevance to the uh, emerging markets theme. So congratulations. Yeah. Hearty congratulations. And um, um, with that, um, I think uh, we uh, come to a, a conclusion. I will um, uh, just, just, just uh, one more we, thing. Gopal. Yeah, I do. I, I know. Uh, so um, I think, uh, go ahead, Christian. You had another. I just, I just wanted to also uh, add that this um, award for the, the best research paper is uh, sponsored by TCSVC, um, so I triply, um, TCSBC, um, so, so that, and then the other uh, announcement is that for the people who have uh, received awards, we request them to contact the finance chair, Vijayanti Deshai, so she can coordinate on the, um, the the cash price, so she can, you can give her your bank account and, and she will coordinate with you on the, on the awards payment. So back to you, Gopal. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. Um, and um, I will um, just um, leave, um, um, I think we already left a message in the chat as well about the CCMSDG initiative. There's a link and on the homepage as well. So 12 minutes ago, there was a message. So um, please um, go ahead and um, join there. And uh, with that, um, Pretty much uh, we come to a conclusion uh, to this uh, amazing uh, conference. I want to say a big thank you to one and all, all of you, namaste, thank you. I think you have made it, you all, we have all made it very, very successful and uh, worked through the COVID challenge and made this virtual conference actually um, one of the most exciting in terms of the content and uh, the kind of interactions we had. So uh, thank you for that enthusiasm. We really look forward to making a great community that will uh, make uh, lead the world into the next decade. Uh, and I think, uh, Sesikant, yeah, over to you. Uh, it's a tradition to uh, end uh, a conference with um, uh, a national anthem. So please go ahead uh, and do that, Sesikant. Yes. Um, I can stop sharing. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Janagana mana adhina ayaka jayahe Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Ravida, Pukkala, Vanga, Vindya, Himachala, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchala, Jaladhi, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Ashish, Mage, Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Jana Gana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Okay, thank you all. Thank you very much for a successful CCM 2020 and looking forward to working with you all as we go into CCM 2021 and all the activities that will lead to the main conference. Note the dates, we'll put them on the website. Stay in touch, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great time. Thank you.
Thank you all. Thank you.